The powers of the IGG were clipped when the Constitutional Court ruled in favor of a petition filed by Ken Luchamzi questioning the Inspectorate of Government's jurisdiction to prosecute MPs who defy the leadership code. The particular ruling was that the Inspectorate of Government was not the appropriate tribunal to enforce the leadership code against a member of parliament. So, for example, today, if I investigate a member of parliament, I find him in a breach of the leadership code. I cannot say you remove him because they will waive the decision <laughs> of Luchamuzi. In 2005, Luchamuzi was thrown out of parliament by then IGG Faith Monda for failing to declare his wealth as required by that law. Baku's dilemma is that parliament has never enacted the law to set up the tribunal which should hear such cases. This, was, this part of the constitution was enacted in 2005. But up to now, this tribunal has not been established. <laughs> up to today. The tribunal is provided for under Article 235A, which states that there shall be a leadership code tribunal whose composition, jurisdiction and function shall be prescribed by parliament. But the IGG says he has not stopped investigating and prosecuting other errant public servants as he pushes for the establishment of a tribunal that will hold parliamentarians to account. But of course, that notwithstanding, we have made a consultations, efforts are already being made to cause parliament to establish the leadership court tribunal. We have set up a committee under the interagency forum to come up with uh, some ideas to be given to cabinet. Currently, the office has to monitor over 18,000 civil servants to ensure that they adhere to the leadership code. Hilary Isga, NTV 11.